What is the best way possible to scare away some Russian submarines lurking in your national waters? Bigger weapons, you might think, but no. The oldest peace group in the world, located in Sweden, has introduced a new innovative broadcasting device to deal with Russian submarines out on Swedish waters. Homophobia in the shape of a neon sign featuring a dancing gay sailor. Madison, this is pretty crazy, but the Swedish Peace and Arbitration Society, the oldest peace advocacy group in the world, created what it's called the Singing Sailor Underwater Defense System. And this is in response to numerous uh, Russian submarine sites that have happened in Sweden in the Baltic Sea during the last year. And the cool thing about this design is that they put it down in the ocean and in Morse code is saying, if you're gay, come this way. Welcome to Sweden, gay since 1944, acknowledging the fact that Sweden was the very first country that made homosexuality legal back in 1944, decades before the UK did it. So I think this is master trolling level 10. Amazing, the fact that they are doing something completely nonviolent to make a point across that their policies against homosexuality in Russia are insane. I mean, I think this is fantastic that a dancing neon sign in a Speedo is cre deflecting the Russian army to uh, get, because they have such a phobia. So, I mean, if this is the kind of tactic that's working, I think it's fantastic. It means no fighting, but yet if a man in a dancing Speedo can make that much noise then through Morse code, then great. They are, they're, it's a w great strategy from, exactly. and, from Sweden. Anna, Anna Ek who is the chair of ESPAS, the, the, this organization, said, and I quote, if military action and weapons had worked as a conflict resolution methods, there would have been peace in the world long ago. I think she's right. I think that this nonviolent action is very symbolic of, of, the, of the fact that the Russia's stance on homosexuality is completely out of time, out of touch with the reality today. It's known back in 2013, there was this poll that the Russian population, the Russian people, accept homosexuality up to 73% of those in the poll. So it goes to show that the problem is not the people of Russia. I don't think the people of Russia is homophobic. I think the regime, I think the, the, the institutional government is homophobic and have proven that they are completely stupid about it. Right, and well, they would be the ones going into the sea exactly. to making the attack. So if that's the mindset that they've actually psychologically um, psych them out, then it's brilliant, you know? And, and, and it, like you said, it's in a peaceful way. It's just a neon sign going down. And if it can make peace and keep them away, then well done. Yes, and the critique was not only to the Russian government, it was also for the Sweden government because they said, this is a much better cost-effective measure to deter these submarines that are not a real threat to the country because Sweden, right after these first sightings of, of Russian submarines, actually deployed military action for the first time at that scale since this, the, the Cold War. So it was a big deal. They spent all, over $2 million mobilizing their army to find these submarines and this organization saying, maybe we should use that money in a completely different work, obviously social programs, education, but not sending all of our fleet to look for these submarines. Just let this dancing sailor do the work. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you think this is a great idea, let us know in the comments and subscribe to the Lib TV too.